shut up a second. <laughs> no. It's hilarious. <laughs> Andrew, salad companies are ruining the economy. <laughs> they ru certainly ruined the economy of, uh, where are we again? Uh, Sandstone, Sunnyvale. Isn't Sunnyvale the name of the place in Buffy? Oh. Uh, that might be where I got that. Sunny, Sunny Vale? Sunny Dale? Uh, I remember because there was a port there was a portal to the the vampire dimension or something, and that's why that particular town had vampires in it. Yeah, it was just like Trondheim in uh in Diablo, where there's just like sort of a gate to hell underneath the place. That was a pretty cool show, Buffy. Yeah, I only ever watched season one, I think, and then then kind of lost interest, but I recall kind of getting into it at that at that time. I've, I've only ever seen, like, the first two episodes or so. Stoic Club. I also remember the movie. Because the show was, it was a movie first, I believe. Yeah. Or it was probably, like, a comic book or something first, but... Anyway, <laughs> enough about that. Enough about this dead Let's talk air. More about salad companies. Actually, what I want to know about is what we're doing in Earthbound. Uh, God, who can say? Call our so why are we in this seaside resort again? We're here for a reason. We're not just here for no reason. Andrew, we're all here well, for no reason. Uh, we we kind of are here for no reason. Yeah. The reason we're here is that we're playing Earthbound, and God, there certainly is no reason for that. <laughs> uh, I don't remember why we're in Summers. I don't know what like the report was that we felt the need to respond to, but here we are. Also, we, should, we said, should tell the fine people that uh, uh, my computer restarted at the very end of the last mission. Oh uh, yeah, the last episode. Little Windows update. Yeah, just out of friggin' nowhere. I hate that. I hate, like, why would that even be a feature? Why would it even update itself without you clicking something? Yeah, and then to just, like, impose a restart on my computer while there's a full-screen application running. To go. That's it's bizarre. It's bizarre that that would... I, I, it, that's happened to me before, where I've, I've, you know, gotten up in the morning, come over to my computer and uh, open it up and... See that blue startup screen? I'm like, oh shit! I didn't save any of my crap. Yeah. Usually it's all crap though, because if it's something important, I will have saved it. So, not a huge problem, but it's still stupid, and I hate it. On the on the plus side though, Fraps did save the video for the whole thing, and Audacity right. was able to recover the audio. So, you, uh, our fine viewers who are fictitious, obviously, uh, still got the full dose. Including, I'm, I'm ex like, uh, it was cool uh -huh. when I was cu uh, 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 cutting... Uh, 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 what, what? Uh, Tell me, sh quick! Shut up! Shut up! Uh, crap. Club Stoic. They said it was not... That sounds... I think I gotta make a reservation there. Uh, we're near the hotel. First. Summers. Yeah. God, what is wrong with me? What am I trying to say? What is here? wrong with you? Maybe you should take a chill pill. Uh. Anyway, uh, the the. Oh, for Christ's sake! Yet again, we have, we watch this animation. He's a photographic genius. He, Totally misuses the word instantaneously. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna. <sighs> Pouring myself a glass of wine. You're gonna need it. That's the only. That's the only way I can get through this. I can't say fuzzy pickles one more time. If I say fuzzy pickles one more time, I'll shoot myself. Oh, the thing I was excited I... about was uh, Lightworks, uh, when the audio went on longer than the video, 
kept it in there. It's just a black screen, so I got you saying, oh, crap, at the end of that episode, which I thought was pretty <laughs> awesome. It just ends that way. Just, like, the video cuts out, uh, and then my audio cuts out, and you, like, ten seconds later, you're just like, oh, crap. <laughs> Arisosha Arishmon. Yeah, sure. I have 70 grand, man, in my pants. And if I need more, I can go beat a taxi cab to death. <laughs> Does anybody else see this? Does anyone else, <laughs> you know... Throw down your baseball bats. Do you motherfuckers see what's happening in your town? <laughs> I mean... Isn't that against the law here? And you can't just run over pedestrians. <laughs> like every cab I encounter. Every single time! Who cares? I'm gonna go sell some of this garbage. Uh. Everyone's in it. Some big money. things. Big things have been happening this past week in the world of video games. Oh? Uh-huh. Indeed. <laughs> Tell me more about the video games, Andrew. Well, video games are a new technology we're developing, which actually allows you to interact with the images on your television screen. Impossible. Not so, my good man. Briefly consider this so, lady. So, uh... Duly... Duly noted. <laughs> oh, she has sunglasses. I was just saying, is she wearing a toupee over her <laughs> regular I, I thought it was a beret, but it is sunglasses. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> What's she doing to that bench? I'm getting out of here. She's just... She, she's like... Continually trying to adjust her position. <laughs> like, I just can't get comfortable. Ma'am, you're sitting on the armrest. Please stop. <laughs> uh, what was that movie with uh, Danny DeVito and, and Glenn Close where they have all this, um, what's that, that furniture called? Um, it's something like like Kentucky furniture, but that's not it. Um, like Adirondack chairs and stuff. No, no, it's it's like this sort of modern art kind of a uh, uh, real eclectic looking. Uh, it's it's a name of Memphis Memphis style uh, uh, furniture where uh, she's like trying to sit in the chair and she just can't get comfortable. <laughs> and they, this like whole scene plays out, and they're having this conversation, and she's like continue. And then I think at the end, like the chair just breaks or something. But it's, it's pretty funny. I don't know. I can't remember what movie that was. It's was it Get Shorty? Seen, no. Okay. Um. Anyway, in the wide, wide world of video games, this past week, yes, there was a there was a convention in Los Angeles. Oh, wait, wasn't it, like, two, two or three weeks ago? Was it? It wasn't this past week. Wait. I, I think it was two, I think it was, I don't think it was, it wasn't last week, and I don't think I it was I thought it was week last week. weekend. Yeah, it was last week. It runs, no, it's, it's, it, E3 runs during the week, unless you're talking about something different. Well, okay, it was, it was last week. Okay, anyway. Go, well, go on. Well, okay. No, I will check. Okay. If you want to fact check your own mouth, then that's cool with me. Not a problem. All I have to do is say it. Is, uh... <laughs> Amen. Yeah, dude. It was last week. Man, I, I have no concept of the passage of time whatsoever. It was on the, uh, today's the 22nd. It was, it started 10 days ago and ended on, uh, the 14th, which was eight, well, um, eight days ago. I guess I'm, 
Okay, cool. Well, okay, t time, you know, whatever. We're, we're, we're dwelling on something that's not... If I could save time yeah. in a bottle, I would sell it, because, hey, cool. If I could save time... Anyway... Yep. Yeah. What well, took all the life out of that conversation, but... You... I am super excited about Fez 2. Hooray! Which was announced. When you're excited, I feel weird inside my body. I'm glad you didn't say you're excited because you didn't even play Fez. No. Fuck you for not playing Fez. Fuck it was you! Free. Actually, I, ha I haven't even finished Fez, and I just now realized that... Because uh, the, the thing I have to keep waiting for is the last... Uh, clock puzzle. There's a puzzle in the game where the answer to the puzzle is just get, it's just being that having the game on at the right time. <laughs> and uh, the time I have to have it on is at like midnight on Friday. Oh my god, that sucks. And it it, it only happens once per week, and I keep forgetting to turn the game back on, so I never finish the game. That sucks. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Uh, apparently. Like, you can reset, if you play the game on Xbox, you can reset the, the system clock, or, you know, whatever, but... Oh, can you not do uh, that on your, on your PC? Well, you can change the time on the PC, but I get the impression it's, it's not pulling from your system time. You know? Uh, it's probably going, like, hitting some server someplace or something? Yeah, it's probably got something to do, it's probably getting from Steam or something like that. Some kind of internet. But, um, yeah. Dumb. Bad puzzle. Don't want to do it. Yeah. At long last, we found a place to spend money in this game. I, I just spent about $40,000. No, man, we good. Let's get some of that money out. Can, what's up with her hat? Go ask her about that hat. Alright, one sec. Let me, let me get my dollar or bills. Is, is she... Maybe she's in a swimsuit, and she's just carrying her inner tube around on her head. It's possible. Oh. She's just irritated. But... But why do you have an inner tube on your head? Madam, this is of the utmost importance. Oh, no, we need a... Uh, we need a call. We need to call the Stoic Resort. The Stoic Club, rather. Yes, I would like to. So what? What from recent video game uh, convention have you found interesting? I thought the uh, the Battlefield 4 trailer looked pretty exciting because as a person who is a strong fan of shooting dudes and also blowing shit up, a Battlefield man. Yes. This club sucks. Hey, lady. I finally awakened the inner me. <laughs> I was hoping she was just going to end that sentence that hard. These people <laughs> stare into their soul hard. They're going ham on they souls, yo. Okay. Cool. Man, does everybody so here talk the, like that? What's the rock? What's the rock about? The show has already started. Everyone stares at the stone and philosophizes. Doesn't that sound stupid? Yeah. Uh, go, go, go ask the rock what's up. Maybe we're finally getting back to the meteor plot. <laughs> at long last. And also, uh, just to give you an update, we are at about 20 minutes. Wow. Yeah, time flies. That last episode was 50 minutes long. Yeah, the, our last, like, three episodes have gone rather long. Yeah, we, we need to not do that. For real. But so, uh, this last week, I also finally watched that... Uh, 
The People vs. George Lucas. I saw the review of that on uh, Red Letter Media at one point. Was that good? Yeah. It's okay. Uh, it's a bunch of people who don't like The Phantom Menace. Which, yeah, I can understand. It's not particularly good. A few things about... I mean, the... the, the People who don't like, I say, I say this, not not to succumb to the the fault of overgeneralizing, but uh, with qualification, a great many people who espouse their dislike for um, the, Phantom the Phantom Menace. Menace do so on the grounds that Phantom Menace contains two things. And these two things seem to utterly ruin the movie for, for these people. And those two things are Jar Jar Binks and Mini Chlorians. And they spend a good deal of time addressing those very two issues in uh, The People vs. George Lucas. I don't have a problem with either of those things. I don't like The Phantom Menace. But those two things are not what ruin it for me. Huh. In the first place, I mean, I mean, Jar Jar Binks does not seem out of place to me. He's like a goofy cartoon character in... A st I mean, he's not written well. Yeah. But to have a character like that, I, I don't see anything wrong with that. C-3PO is kind of like that. Yeah. He's just like a b bumbling moron kind of kind of thing. And if, if Jar Jar didn't have the, the if the acting and the dialogue were, were up to standard, it, that, that idea would not be so bad. And well, part of what makes him a bad character is that he does nothing of consequence through the entire movie. Yeah, he's just sort of you hanging know, he, out there being a pain in the ass. He's just sort of along for the ride. Like, they pick him up, uh... Like, I'm trying to remember what... what the, he's just walking through the forest, and they pick him up, and then he leads them to the underwater city, then the only reason he continues to live is that they agree to assume the burden of... Like having him around. Yeah, he, he gets him that submarine, and that's basically it. And he's just and that's a it. pain in the ass from there on out. His only function is to get those two Jedis, who are themselves pretty irrelevant to everything that happens in the movie, <laughs> to to the, the city. Yeah. And whatever. Um, Midi-chlorians, though. I, I do not have a problem with this, and it seems that everyone who does have a problem with it uh, bases their objection on the idea that, uh, like, it, it, by them u using the term, by them stating that, it is uh, uh, unarguable. Inarguable. Unargu inarguable. You, unarguable. You mean like people just That's, have like this uh, deontological hatred for the concept and just can't be reasoned with? I don't think you're using the word deontological. Probably not. But, okay. Um, but at any rate, uh, the, well, they have the idea, I'm like, saying it's canon, right? Yeah. But m m many Koreans, are, like, like, because. Qui-Gon has a machine that measures your Medicorians, that means that that's how it is. Like, George Lucas changed it. It's like, well, hold on a hold minute. On. I just... Uh, uh, we, just, we just ate some magic cake, and then now I don't know what's happening. If we um, go back to Moonside, I'm pulling out a gun and shooting myself. Yeah, game is over. If we, go, if we, <laughs> if we ever end up in Moonside again, I'm turning this game off. Lars had a dream. It was a very clear and a very strange dream. We're not going to show it to you or anything. We're just going to tell you about it. I like unnecessary comma after strange. <laughs> Ooh. Cloudside. 
Dalam. Dalam. In the far east. <laughs> There's some oh. turban. There's some elephants. Hey, what's happening? It's it's like that Russian church with the gold. Sweet. Uh, the Palace of Rufio! This game just got awesome again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh shit! What is up, my man? We we're really taking great liberties with mixing our Chinese and Indian and aesthetics. If that guy on the right actually has a, a telephone on his head, this game gets ten thousand points. I. I have become the other guy. Hey, what's up? Maybe he's like Tibetan. Maybe that's it's, it's sort of intermediary between India and China. Bang it. Uh, anyway, you said that people have uh, hate that midi chlorians are canon. Well, okay, that that they assume that because the word was used, okay, so that is the correct explanation for the force. But, if you look at history, I mean, how many times have previous ages had theories about why things operate the way they do that have been incorrect or unprovable or whatever? Yeah. You know? Like, n th at no point do they prove beyond a reasonable doubt that many Koreans are actually the source of, the, of man's ability to manipulate the Force. You know, it's like, like, you, you think of like the theories of Democritus or something, who, who theorize that atoms are, uh, have different shapes, and like some are, some are triangular and some are made of hooks and things like that, and it's by their shapes that they fit together in different ways, or, or the idea that there are four elements. Yeah. And, like, these were all accepted theories of how the world worked, and, uh, Today we 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 say well that's rubbish. So you're saying midi chlorians are like the phlogiston? Of I'm saying that that we don't know. I'm saying that Qui Gon believes that's the case. But if you also think about it, a lot of the crazier theories occur in times of uh, like great prosperity. In you think about what what the state the uh, Galactic Republic was in. They had been. It, it had, it, you know, been through thousands of years of peace. Yeah. Right? So, they could have developed all kinds of crazy, crazy theories. Like, like in the Roman Empire, which, you know, they believed lots of crazy yeah. things. Hold it. And then... Check out this. This is some, some profound next level shit I'm about to bring to you. Preet. Preet. Poops. <laughs> oh, it's so clear now. Yeah. Anyway, go on. So, like, during the Roman Empire, they had all kind of... Wait, okay, so then you have an intervening period of, of you know, the Middle Ages, which are a few hundred years of, of, sort of like, chaos and, and you know, despondent sadness and, you know, and, and, you know, all that terrible sorts of catastrophe. Yeah. And then you have the Renaissance, where everybody gets it. You know, they're like, okay, well, we... We have been uh, uh, educated about sort of the real world and and how things work. So we're we've sort of come down from the point we were in in the Roman Empire, and now we're have a more worldly perspective on on things. But anyway, I mean that's the, 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 this is all certain not really. The point is that uh, the, people believe that many Koreans are it. Simply because it was mentioned. Right. That, well, well Qui-Gon believes it, and therefore that's the way it works. It's like, well, no, he believes that's the way it works, but he's fallible. You know, he's not. Is he ever? No. I mean, he dies. Yeah. He's fallible. And and that's why I, I really don't have a problem with mini chlorians because it sort of follows the same pattern as, uh, you know, our, our, as actual history. Right. You go back to ancient Greece or ancient Rome or whatever, and you have all kinds of crazy crackpot theories that everyone thought were perfectly valid, and now we just know are not the case. Interesting. 
Also, I mean, it, it might, it, that might just be a, a, a quality of, uh, you know, the Republic, is they have a very materialist attitude yeah. toward, uh, things. So it's like, well, no, the, nothing, nothing like the Force would, ha- would not have a material basis. So, we have to find what it is. Well, here's a convenient thing we have no other explanation for. Or maybe they, maybe they, they noticed a correlation between the behavior of Minicorians and, and the Force and say, okay, well, that proves it, right? Well, no. Anyway, but, so I don't have a problem with Minicorians. I think that's fine. Maybe they could have, uh, sort of hinted at that sort of interpretation more during the, uh, during the movie, but whatever. What I don't like about that movie is the fact that it's just so poorly written and doesn't seem to go anywhere and just, you know, it does nothing. Now, do you always have to meditate on top of a mountain? Yes. I mean, isn't the whole idea of meditation that you block out everything around you anyway? Go to the top of the mountain. So. Where, where, where are you gonna med- where are you gonna meditate in your basement? Nobody cares if you meditate in your basement. I'm gonna meditate in the center of the earth. I think we're gonna be tempted three times. The first temptation. You just have to wait. I think, I think the temptation is to up. move. Uh, walk off screen and back on and yeah. see if it resets. There's, there's some other thing over here, and I want to see what it is. Uh, hey guys. Chocolate rabbits. Statues of rabbit. Oh god, we're gonna have to get a rabbit eraser. Ugh. What was the thing we did before where it was like the, the, the answer was literally you have to do this thing and then wait for three minutes oh, yeah. without moving? Yeah, we had to wait three minutes. That went great puzzle designer found. A plus. It was a waterfall. It was something, I remember there was a waterfall in there. Yeah. It was in, it was in, uh, uh, with the, the Saturnites. Oh god, yeah. That place. Huh, I can't I can't meditate again. We have a lot of a lot of sour memories of pretty much every location <laughs> in this game. Have we been anywhere we've found interesting or or enjoyable? Uh Summer or, or winters originally was kinda of fun. Where we where we were where we were originally Rob Z. Then we got to ride on Tessie, the, the slightly retarded oh, yeah. sea monster. <laughs> And, okay, I, I thought the, the Saturn village was funny for about five minutes. Yeah. You know, when we first got there, it was like, ah, look at them. Uh, okay. <laughs> After a little while, it's like, okay, now put just put the knife in your own neck. Yeah. Fine, asshole. I, th- I think we did screw that up. I think we're supposed to resist that temptation. And you have to come all the way back here to, to reset it. Ugh. So the tem- is the temptation just to move? Yeah. I think so. Great. We got through all of our conversation while we were walking around. We could have had that whole conversation while we were waiting for the game to solve its puzzle. No. <laughs> while we're waiting for the game to think. Yeah. So I have a bunch of... um wipe-off boards in my office at work, and I've taken to um, playing wipe-off board games with one of my colleagues, and so currently we have Mm. two games of Go, a game of chess, and uh, a game of Ultimate Tic-Tac-Toe going, which is pretty cool. I thought you didn't even know chess. I I know of chess, I know all the rules, but I'm not, I I don't ever play it, so I'm not very good at it. The knight moves in an L. Yeah. That's what I know about chess. <laughs> Fat. Well, actually, I know quite a bit about chess. Well, <laughs> when... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what are you doing?
<laughs> yeah, bun yet? Oh god. <laughs> look at look at his little tail. <laughs> That's not a tail. Oh, to complete god. our trial, he's going to break our legs. Mr. Mr. Miyogi. <laughs> you you come back from the dead. That was what what was the guy's name from Karate Kid? Mr. Miyagi. Miyagi, that was it. You come back from the dead to haunt me as a disembodied head. Dude, this is this is effed up. I think we're getting sky buried right now. Yes, I also accept the freaking off of my arms and the feeding oh. Good heavens. This is... Is this game for children? Oh, that's awesome. Maybe you should have said... Wait. Maybe you should have said no. Like, maybe... No, listen. Like, maybe... they actually turned the music off. That's kind of cool. Oh, because he cut off your ears. Yeah. That's interesting. If this turns off the, vi the visuals, too, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Neat. It, it doesn't turn off the... So how are you communicating all this to Directly me? Directly with my mind, man. Interesting. Tell me more. That's all I got left. Send me the pamphlet. I don't think that would be so bad. What? To just be a thought entity. To have no physical, or, or no, uh, you know, no, no physical form. To just be thought. Hmm. If, if it was understood that as a thought entity, you also were immortal. Yeah. There's, um... The Beginning of uh, the Reality Dysfunction by Peter F. Hamilton is about these creatures that they like they live on the, they have an extremely short lifespan so that their like evolutionary response to this is to like before their planet kills them because it does so in this weird cycle that like they become beings of like thought and perception and then they just move around the universe and explore it. And then this somehow yeah. causes all hell to break loose. I, mean, I, I think that would be pretty neat if uh, you were sort of just this immortal. Like, you, you didn't have senses, you didn't have. You were just thought. Yeah. Maybe you had some understanding of, of the universe. Like, uh, you, you knew. But you didn't think in terms of, like, human relationships and stuff like that. You were just sort of a... abstract. Huh. I guess you wouldn't be distinct, uh... You wouldn't be distinct from the universe itself. I mean, because that's what the universe is, right? It's a... a thought entity. It's... it processes... stuff. Yeah. Whoa. You also gain the ability to walk through walls. Just like that cat. <laughs> That's far as large as like I just ate a cake and this weird Chinese dude just bust out of nowhere. <laughs> like, hi. Okay, cool. <laughs> Plays a sort of triumph. Rufio, join you. Rufio, Rufio. That's loud, though. <laughs> <laughs> we don't need to go through that again. Oh. Don't fight the cab. Fighting the cab. Fight the cab. I think we're at a good stopping place. We got a new character. Got through that whole little episode. Yeah. When we're done fighting this cab, let's let's go save and call it a 
call it an episode. Alright, cool. I think maybe we should see if we can grab some gear for Rufio as well. Oh god, why do we name him Rufio? Because we're, we're great. Oh. That's a great name. If, we all, if we'd only had a few more letters, great. we could have called him Wava He's a really great role model, you know, how he goes through growth in the course of the movie. He starts out, and he doesn't like, he thinks he's Peter Pan, but he's really not. And then he realizes that actually Robin Williams is Peter Pan, and, and then he's okay with it. Okay. And then he dies, because Captain Hook stabs him. Jeez, way to bring everybody down. I know. Huh. Yeah. I want you all to cry. Just let it out. No. Yes, we got the drop on this cab. Oh god, here comes another- Oh! Get the drop on that cab. Blah! Fantastic. So you finally have your full party. Yep. Party. And that's what so you want to get some gear for him? No, I just tried. Like, you can't equip anything. It looks like, okay, it looks like he's probably like one. Kang from Final Fantasy IV. I thought... What? I was almost sure he had... Well, whatever. So, did you save? Uh, yes. Okay. Episode over. Wait, I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to experiencing Rufio. I don't know what kind of moves he has. <laughs> I'm gonna call this episode Experiencing Rufio. It's like being John <laughs> Malkovich, except with a weird Chinese kid. Maybe, uh, instead of Greek letters, all his attacks are followed by, like, Sanskrit letters. That's probably too cool for this game. <laughs> or Chinese letters, you know, whatever. Yeah. Whatever kind of East Asian letters, or Asian letters you prefer. So, audience, hope you had fun. We'll see you in one week. Oh, and this is episode three. I guess we should say that before the episode's over, right? No, I'm, I'm going to cut it before I said that, because now I hate myself for having said that. Yeah. Well, I hate you too. Alright. See you later, everybody. Episode 30, In the Bag. Later, taters. <laughs>